Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome to my channel. It has been a while since I have made a video and posted. I have been in hermit mode over the Mercury and retrograde period, doing a lot of soul searching, reflecting, and just allowing things to just come up to the surface as I embark on this next chapter of my life, personally and professionally. So I'm going to be getting back into posting here on YouTube, on my Instagram, staying more active on Twitter and threads. Probably not going to start anything on TikTok because I really feel TikTok is going to be going away here in the United States, so I'm not going to put any focus on that. But I am going to be posting content from the healed perspective of a divine feminine to help you on your journey. So this video is going to be a reading now that the planet Venus is in the zodiac sign of Taurus. Venus went into Taurus today, April 29th, 2024, and it will stay in Taurus until May 21st, 2024. So Venus is essentially the planet of love. So I was very called to pull a rose quartz angel wings heart crystal and I saw the 1111 number in my third eye so I pulled this spiritual awakening 1111 organite to just help bring in the energy of love to bring in the energy of the spiritual awakening that is going to be happening while Venus is in Taurus so Venus essentially is about love and beauty. It's about seeing the beauty in yourself, seeing the beauty in your love life, your love connection, your partner. Maybe a new person is going to come in for you. Venus is really going to show you while in the sign of Taurus that it's time to focus on romance Art, essentially I'm hearing creation. Harmony is about having the balance in your relationships and essentially having that open heart chakra that is going to help you call in what you are seeking in love. Wealth is telling you basically you can have all the abundance that you want you can have the luxury, the style, but you have to be the attraction. You have to be the vibrational match. And essentially you do have to be in the female energy, which is the feminine energy. And you have to indulge in everything that life offers you, everything that life has to offer. And essentially you have to indulge in yourself, in the magic of creation, through self-love. The sign of Taurus is an earth sign. An earth sign is basically telling you spiritual awakening, staying physically present in the 3D. Because Taurus is about being fertile. It's about self-indulgent, so giving to yourself. Sensuous, ripe, meaning you are fully in your divine feminine essence, your divine feminine energy, maintaining the patience, being possessive about only yourself, being a rational thinker, allowing your intuition to rule supreme in your headspace, staying loyal to yourself, loyal to your beliefs, loyal to your truths, loyal to your path, enjoying the comforts that life has to offer you, Understanding that materialism, having things, are, is a part of life. And the food is just the nurturing of the body. 
and staying in the earth energy of being physically present. So I'm going to use two decks in this reading. I'm going to be using the Witch Tarot with clarifiers from the Truth deck to bring forth the energy that is coming through for Venus being in Taurus. So I want you to just take what speaks directly to your soul and release what doesn't. What is the energy coming in for the collective now that Venus is in the sign of Taurus? What energy is coming through when it pertains to love, self-love, spiritual awakening, spiritual journeys? What can you tell the collective on this energy, please? So we have the seven of pentacles. So pentacles is earth energy. So we have earth energy coming through. Pentacles also represents money, wealth, abundance. The number seven is signifying divine wisdom. So listening to the divine wisdom of your soul. I'm seeing options with this card. So there are many different options. There's many different ways something can come into your life when it pertains to love. So let's just get a clarifier or if you have clarifiers, please spirit, ancestors and spirit guides regarding these options when it comes to love. So in order for these options to come your way, Spirit is telling you, essentially, to open your heart. 14 equals a 5, and 5s are about change. So essentially, what I'm hearing, I'm even hearing the song, Listen to Your Heart, before you tell him goodbye. So Spirit's telling you, this is one message that's coming through. There's going to be many different options for you when it comes to love. You could have someone potentially around you right now whom you're not sure you want to have a love relationship with or you're going to have multiple suitors or you're just going to see how you are just going to magnetically attract partners or just people who are just genuinely want to smile at you, look at you, talk to you, flirt with you a little bit, maybe contact you on social media. So Spirit's telling you there's many options for you in love, but you have to see the essence of opening your heart. Because when you can open your heart, you are essentially going to be weighing options. And weighing options means with the number two, you have balance in your energy when it comes to that partnership in love that you have been wanting, that you have been seeking. So Spirit's saying, there is a temptation. There is someone around you who you're very tempted with, but you're just not sure. So that's why they're telling you. Keep your heart open. Keep your options open because things are going to come through. And the number three is the trifecta of mind, body, spirit. The mind is the third eye chakra, listening to your intuition. The body is the heart chakra, which is listening to your heart. And the spirit is the root chakra, which is telling you to stay grounded in the pentacles, earth energy of Taurus. So you can listen because you don't want to get into the, the, the shadow side or the stubborn side of Taurus being stubborn like the bull. You want to actually listen to the guidance that spirit has for you. So what else can you tell us about this energy that is coming through for Taurus season? So we have the three of swords and I'm hearing the ending of heartbreak, the ending of a cycle, the ending of things not working out. So if you have been working on healing your past or 
maybe the first message resonated with you and you're seeing how being open to your heart is essentially telling yourself the ending of the heartbreak, the ending of the past is here. Because not hearing you is telling me that there was someone from your past because the nine represents an old cycle, a cycle that has either closed or is closing. This person did not hear you, your hearts did not hear each other, and this person went off into a different direction. So Spirit's telling you don't hold on to the past, don't hold on to what didn't work out. Stay open in your heart so you can see the options that are coming in because there is a happy outcome that is going to happen for you in love. If you truly believe you are deserving and worthy of love, if you are truly ready for love, if you are ready to open your heart and keep your heart open, you are going to see beautiful things come your way. So let's dive a little deep into the opening of the heart because I know from personal experience how difficult it is to keep your heart open when it has been broken. So this is something that I have worked on for, I would say the last six years. And I can finally say now here in 2024, I am in a place where my heart is open and I am very open to meeting guys and talking with them and seeing what's out there, who's out there, because I do believe there is a person coming for me because I have really worked on those issues. And I tell you this because the star is all about universal alignment. So when you can get to the healing place that I'm in, which you can, every single person can get there. It's just a matter of choosing it, being brave enough to face those shadow sides, being confident enough to try again, the star brings you alignment to this happy outcome. So what can you tell us about staying in universal alignment for the happy outcome? There is closure that is needed for your past. So there is maybe a person or maybe people because sometimes we hold on to little things that happen in past connections, past relationships, past crushes, things that haunt us when they don't work out. So there is closure needed. There is something that just needs to be closed. So Spirit's telling you, you need more info as to why you are still holding on to this. So this is what I'm getting. If you still remember something from your past, that hurt you, that didn't work out. Spirit's telling you the more info that you need, you need to ask yourself why it still affects you because a lot of things that I have been doing over the last month is reading books. And this one book that I read, it's called The Goddess Path. It's by Kirstie Gallagher. She does 13 steps. Where is it? 13 steps to becoming your most intuitive, authentic, and powerful self. So this is what the book looks like. So in this book, she talks about how we hold on to bad experiences and they become part of our story. So when you are holding on to something from your past, you have to ask yourself why. That is where you have to get more info needed. So this is where you have to take a trip down memory lane. You have to relive it and I recommend journaling it out because that's what I did and it was very freeing because journaling essentially is helping you let it go because maybe there's something you're holding on to that you never got to have physical closure with a person you never got to understand why something happened or something didn't happen choices that were made maybe there's something you did that you're still holding on to that you regret when it comes to love whatever it is let it go journal it out and that is going to bring you into universal alignment with the star because that is going to help you move forward. So while Venus is in Taurus, the Six of Swords shows me movement forward. It shows me tranquility ahead. Swords is air energy. Gemini, Libra, 
Aquarius. This could be uh, specific if you have one of those signs as your sun, moon, or rising, or just somewhere dominant in your chart. The number six is telling you there's an opportunity to begin again, but you have to find the strength to see clearly because swords is essentially about communication and balance. So when you see clearly, when you listen to your intuition, you let your intuition be the main voice in your mind. That is when angel number one brings you that fresh new start. And the fresh new start is going to tell you with warning signs, listen to your intuition. If it doesn't feel right, if there's hesitation, that's where you go back to the card, more info needed. Okay, why am I hesitating? Why am I not pulling the trigger? Why am I not wanting to fully go all in? Why is this not a full body yes? The number five tells me that there is something that is, is just stopping you now. It could be a little bit of fear, a little bit of the unknown, or maybe your intuition is telling you, here's a red flag. Let, we're going to test you because a lot of times that happens when you are trying to manifest something new, especially when it comes to love. And let's say you've manifested a type of love partner. Like for me, I always manifest emotionally unavailable men. So because I'm wanting to call in a secure divine masculine, I still attract emotionally unavailable men. But the good thing is, is that I see the red flag. I see the warning signs and I don't go there. I simply say no and whatever it is for you if if it's that or if it's something else spirits telling you that in order for you to manifest this beautiful union this beautiful partnership this divine feminine coming in for you this divine masculine coming in for you it's all about connecting to the heart space connecting to your feelings, feeling your feelings, expressing your emotions, and what that's going to do for you, it's going to bring you this balancing act. So this balancing act is essentially going to bring you freedom. I'm hearing financial freedom, but it's going to bring you the freedom and love to express yourself. No more eight of swords being bound in fear being silenced you're going to shift your focus and i'm seeing the eight of swords in my third eye so i'm going to quickly pull that card because the eight of swords is essentially evolving past the blocks the obstacles so this is the eight of cups this is where you are not afraid to cross that river, this body of water, go to the mountain and climb to the other side to get to this new beginning, to get to this new chapter. The Eight of Cups is telling you that fear and worry is just that, but when you face your fear and you understand that worry is just a wasted emotion, you ask more questions. You ask yourself, why? Why am I afraid? Why am I blocked? Why can't I move forward? Because by the next winter solstice, which is December of 2024 through March of 2025, you're going to have this new beginning in love. So whatever family issues maybe block you or maybe you need to connect with your inner child to be able to see clearly, um, it will just come to you checking in with your inner child, giving your inner child love seeing if anything is there that's triggering you and just know that with phone there is some type of message coming in for you so this could be somebody reaching out to you calling you texting you emailing you um i'm even hearing um like a message on social media but this is somebody who has released the burdens and they are ready to talk so this could be specific if you have someone from the past coming back or maybe somebody that you um, you met a long time ago is going to reach out to you or somebody on social media. But just know Venus in Taurus is doing an energy cleansing, an energy cleansing of the soul that is telling you to be confident. Two, 
allow yourself to just feel the feelings and express your emotions so you can understand that everything can happen for you. Everything does happen for you. So whenever you are wanting to manifest in love, really gain a sense of that. While Venus is in Taurus, we have a new moon in Taurus coming up next month in May. And the new moon in Taurus is essentially going to help you set intentions to help you really physically manifest something new. So if you're wanting to set intentions to bring in the new when it comes to love, the upcoming new moon in Taurus will be the perfect time for you. So I do hope that this Venus and Taurus reading has brought you clarity and guidance and has helped you in some way. If it did, please let me know in the comment section below. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. If you are interested in booking with me, my main booking website is butterflyintuition.com. You can see my full list of services, the link to my website. I do offer two mini readings on Wizio. All that information, along with all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube, are in the description box below. Have a beautiful rest of your day, night, or afternoon, and I will talk to you soon.